so one of the most devastating uh, diseases to affect uh, people is uh, critical limb ischemia, which is basically a uh, manifestation of uh, progressive, progressive arterial disease uh, with the ultimate threat of uh, amputation. Uh, these patients are at great risk for uh, death as well as uh, uh, gangrenous changes to their extremities. And what uh, we feel that we have uh, created here at New York Presbyterian is a, is a kind of the quintessential team approach to dealing with these patients, uh, one that uh, is able to uh, treat both the uh, medical conditions surrounding uh, the, these patients' presentations as well as the surgical and uh, post-surgical management of these patients. A person with critical limb ischemia is often, uh, one of, is often a diabetic patient, uh, someone who has been kind of neglected in their care, who uh, presents almost in, as, a, as an end-stage patient. The team approach has, uh, is, is made up by a, a team of uh, endocrinologists, vascular medicine specialists, uh, in a, uh, the imaging group, and then we have a, a interventionalist group, which is basically a uh, the vascular surgeons, which uh, are able to deal with both the interventional component, uh, whether or not it's an endovascular approach or a open surgical component. Also to deal with the uh, wound complications of, that many of these patients uh, uh, present with, uh, we have a dedicated team of podiatrists as well as uh, plastic surgeons. Patients are frequently uh, referred to the vascular division uh, by their uh, primary care doctors who, uh, who notice that the patient, one, has uh, a, a non-healing wound on their foot or can have uh, uh, tissue changes or exhibit uh, exercise intolerance. Uh, they're having difficulty, difficulty walking. Vascular surgery represents the best of all disciplines. Uh, on one hand, you have an endovascular approach, which exemplifies the minimally invasive approach to dealing with these, uh, these particularly virulent diseases. But at the same time, we are also trained uh, in that we are able to take care of any uh, vascular issue as well as a, as a, as a surgical candidate as well, or as a, as a surgical patient as well. There's a number of uh, clinical trials that uh, we are involved in and have access to uh, that one focuses on uh, surgical techniques uh, for revascularization in these patients uh, who require it. Uh, two, looks at uh, minimally invasive techniques to uh, improve uh, blood flow in these individuals. And that three, in individuals who may not even be surgical candidates, uh, there are even potential treatment options. One of the first patients I saw in clinic uh, at, at the beginning of the month was a, uh, a young woman who has uh, a occlusive disease of her aorta and was a only able to walk uh, about uh, 100 feet without, without having debilitating pain in her legs. This is an individual who we felt that uh, would, would do the best from a open surgical procedure. Uh, so uh, she agreed to undergo a aorta bifemoral bypass, uh, which was a, a technique to uh, provide a, a blood flow back to her legs. And uh, she basically had an immediate recovery um, and was able to walk without any discomfort. It's very rewarding uh, for, to have that kind of instantaneous kind of gratification in any kind of surgical candidate, particularly for the patient.